Andrew from uh, Builder Boeing, how are you doing? Uh, I was going to make this video about uh, landing light switches, but um, right now I'm just struggling a bit with my um, throttle. You might be able to hear the takeoff warning in the background. Uh, my throttle down here, as you can see, it's been taken uh, out of its position in the cockpit and uh, it's right now just behaving all badly. I don't know why. Um, so please ignore, ignore the sound. I wanted to do this video about my uh, landing light switches. I've been, um, not the switches themselves, but those chunky parts that goes uh, up there. Uh, those chunky big ones that goes up here. I've been searching the internet for quite a while, see if, seeing if I could find some replicas. The real ones are just way too expensive. Uh, and I saw Jeremy at GBL got some at um, 30, 40 pounds, I think, but including shipping, they would end up in uh, 50, 60 euros. And I thought, there has to be something cheaper, uh, something 3D printed or something like that. So I searched the internet and while browsing around I stumbled across a Russian website and um, on this Russian website it was uh, people building uh, eight tens, the um, uh, American uh, fighter jet A-10 and um, there's a picture of these landing light switches uh, from turned out to be a Danish site something called Lynx L-Y-N-X-Z X I think uh, dot DK and uh, I wrote the guy and it turns out he just lives uh, more or less 100 kilometers from me so I bought four switches from him and uh, they were around 20 euros total including shipping and um, I'm gonna show you what I did with them so this is what they look like um, they actually come in two parts but they are put together when uh, when you get them and you might be able to see some of the 3D printing lines here, but it's not very visible, so it's very nicely done. And um, what's up next is to paint them. I have some paint here from my old car. Uh, that kind of give them a metal look. So uh, off we are to the paint shop. And so uh, this is what they look like when you're finished. Uh, this is the color of my old car. It's a metal grey metal metallic colour and that gives a very nice um, look to uh, to these switches. Next up is um, mounting these metal balls. Each uh, switch comes with a plastic bag, in a plastic bag with three small metal balls like this. So it's just a matter of getting one of these and putting them in place here. Give it a good squeeze. One, two, three, like that, then just press it here towards just to squeeze them in place. There we are. So now they look like this, and they are ready to be mounted on a switch like this, and um, they just fit right onto there. It's a bit difficult when only having one hand here. Let's see if I can get it down here like that. And of course, you need to glue it. But uh, this is what the final result would look like. I'm Peter from Abilabu. You guys take care. Bye-bye.